Hello and welcome back to RLC as a recap with your host Marky Tublitz. Today we're finishing up the NA Spring Regional Number no. Two, the 7-Eleven Slurpee Cup tournament that happened this past weekend. Going over the rest of the action that happened from the upper semifinals and the lower quarterfinals all the way through to the grand finals. See which two teams made it to there and see which team will be victorious as we are into the upper bracket semifinal between Complexity and Envy. Starting up, and these are best of seven games in the upper bracket finals. They still will have a chance to move through into lowers. Whoever loses this is complexity takes a one nothing lead right in the beginning. And be trying to come back with a nice cross field ball cut out and a nice little fake out from Drez. Oh, you can't quite get to it, but Mist is there for the put away. Only a minute remaining, and a demo comes through. Res Bulls almost finds that 50, but they're going their way right now. Drez able to find the corners. Two defenders go flying by it. Just can't quite get to the ball. Makes it a 2-1 game and a nice bump comes thrown right off the crossbar. Down and out. Up in the air still. All you fake says he got no boost. Down, out, and oh, and Drez comes off his backside. Will take that goal. It's now 3-1 and almost 4-1 and it will be 4-1 as Mist will finish one off. Envy coming on strong in this game. Number one. As we into game number two, save off the line from Shad. Rizbulls over to Shad. Pinches it into the middle, and that will just deflect into the goal right from the corner. Very weird angle, but they count all the same as Envy come right back down and score immediately off the kickoff and off the resulting kickoff of that one. Envy are looking to find this game and put it on its head again, and they do 2-1 to one to Envy. They're scoring some goals here so complexity will tie this game back up now into overtime and envy will find the final dagger trying to make quick work of complexity here i see it's now into game number three and the beginning will get a nice shot on goal Right off the kickoff though, Envy will take it and put it straight back into the goal. They are coming back very strong every time they get scored on. Shad putting it, trying to pass it over but can't quite find his teammate. And Drez will take that interception and run with it. Give Envy the 3 nothing lead. And another to save off the line from Complexity. They're starting to struggle here, and AJG will find the goal. Hopefully they can keep up with this and get a first game win. See if they need to, they're going to need a reverse sweep here if they want to move on to the upper finals. They have two chances if they get a second goal to help them with that. And oh, the ball not cleared off the line though by the goalie, we'll cut the lead in half. Those mistakes starting to creep in again for complexity. Up the field, Drez with time, not a lot of boost. Plays one into the middle and yes, it is tied up again. Rizbo's up in the air, can't quite find the angle. Minute 30 left, Drez playing it to the middle to mist. Oh, it hits Drez out and it goes in anyways. And there were only 15 seconds remaining. Drez trying to finish it off, can't quite do it. Race Bulls into the corner. They've turned it around yet again. Race Bulls into the middle though. AJG puts it on target. Drez saves it. Three seconds left. Is it gonna bounce? Oh, it's still up in the air. Race Bulls over to Shad. And he, yes, he finds it. He finds it and right off the kickoff. Oh, another save off the line as we get back straight away into the action. And Envy finish this one off. Missed, oh no, he puts it wide. AJG puts it up in the air, Race Bulls. Over one. Can he get back to the ball? The flipper set. Yes, he can. And the demo comes through. Now we're into game number five. And Envy will take the win with an overtime right off the kickoff in the upper uh, other upper semifinals. G2 sweep Torrent as Envy almost swept complexity there. And we are into the lower bracket quarterfinals. Torrent versus NRG. NRG have had to make a lower round run through most of this tournament. As they able to tie it back up squishy trying to get by 
can say. Can't do it. Justin on the sidewall. No boost. 50. Comes up, though. Angled. Close and oh, Magic Bear can't quite clear that. A very weird position. And Energy take a 2 1 lead. Zanil puts it into the middle. Can say back on the other wall. The nice 50 over pops out to Magic Bear and he's able to put it away. So this is two's piece and we're in overtime. Squishy to his own back corner. Demo's the man, but the ball still goes into the middle. Gary G, can he read that off the corner? And Zanil is able to read that. Where the ball was going and puts it back on target. Torrent takes the first game of this. Zenil flips it over one. He's got a one on one. Passes into the middle. Can say there for support and is able to help him out. Get a goal. Magic Bear right off the kickoff. And oh, hits it off Garrett G. And that's not the greatest play there, but goals all count the same. Now it's 2 nothing. And they will get one goal back. It's Torrent trying to find another one. Gets by a couple players, but no 50 on that wall. Puts them in their own defensive half. Played against the back wall, and a couple of touches onto it, and a nice flip into it. And it is now twos, and we are into overtime. G flipper set can say with a 50, but it pops out to squishy. Ball still not clear, just into the back wall, and he's able to find that. And an, almost a goal for Torrent as we are into overtime of game number three. These games have been very close. Gary G puts it up into the air. Can Justin get the deflection? Yes, he can. Oh, and it's just going to drop a floater into their net. Makes it look very easy. That, but that was not a. Easy shot to hit, and Justin going over him again in game number four to give Energy the one nothing lead as they have turned this series around on its head. And a nice demo comes through, and that's going to be 2-0. There's only seven seconds left, and that is going to be Energy's win in this as they are looking to close up the series in this next game. Torrent playing offensive, though. Here in the third man comes through Zinio. Gonna play it off the sidewall, and yes, Magic Bear will find it. Still 220 left for energy to find a tying goal, and they get it right there. So it's still two minutes left. Justin on the offensive. No one goes to the ball in the corner. Squishy. It's popped out towards Garrett G. Can he be Kinsey? Yes, he can. Justin is up in the air and he's able to put that down underneath the goal is. Version 1 will be the other team to advance into the lower bracket semifinals where we will be looking at the game right here as NRG take the first goal and the first game, uh, or not the first game, the first goal in the first game right now is calm. We'll find that to beast mode and oh, needed that touch on it as the defender most likely going to save that, but calm with a nice important touch to tie up this game. Justin up near though. Defender stay on the back wall. Comes now and can't quite get to it. The energy take a 1-0 lead in the series now. Beast mode is going to beat everyone to the ball. To the ceiling leaves it for calm. Got the defenders on him now. And oh, bumps one defender into the other and will force that home. That is nice play. That materialized in front of him. A nice bump. Energy will take the first goal in game number three, though. B1 on the offensive. No one's coming to him. He just powers his way through and leaves the ball for his teammate. Calm does. And we are into overtime game number three. As he was going to the lower bracket final. Beast mode up in the air. So we should push off to the side of Noah Busto. Leaves it straight for Calm. And we'll beat Justin as near post. Not a lot you can do in that situation as a defender. Only a minute left in game number four. Squishy to the back wall. No more boost. Calm takes it. At 30. Can he get for the flipper side? Yes, he can. Passes over to beast mode. Who's in a good spot. And yes, he is able to find that in version one. One game away from the lower bracket final. 
two minutes on the clock in overtime. Gergi puts that shot on target. Is able to find that corner as both defenders. Thought someone was going to be able to save that, but I guess not. And right off the kickoff, version one looking to start off strong in game number six. And Beastman was able to go bar down ski on that one. Right off the kickoff again. Right back into the action. Squishy passes it back to Gergi. Misses it, but Justin is there as the third man. And ties it up. And Gergi will finish it up as they win the game. Now it's game seven. Right at the beginning. Beast mode up in the air. Pass one player. Yes, it's going in off the corner and in. As they take the advantage in game number seven. Justin pinches it. With a nice 50. And oh, shot on target. And oh, Torment's still there. Calm, saved off the line. Not for long, those Beast Mode's there. 40 seconds left. Energy needs something here. Justin demos calm. Beast mode in his own corner. Not a lot of boost. Trying to work it by a couple of defenders. Is able to do so. Justin 1v1. It takes him wide and is able to finish that off as version 1 takes that series 4 to 1. As we're into the upper bracket final. See who will be playing against version 1, Envy, or G2, and who will be advancing to the grand finals and will be needing to compete in two best of sevens envy and g2 envy take the game one with the first and only goal of the game is we're into game two atomic plays it slow plays it over to chicago has got a shot on target which was a laser beam able to give g2 their first lead and the second goal will come straight away after that in the action it's two players up for g2 i don't know if it matters that was atomic all alone by himself. Defender coming back. Can't quite get to it though. G2 will take a game number two win. And Mist will put Envy in the lead in game number three. Atomic up to the ceiling. Goes over Mist to the back wall. No one's in goal. And Chicago will finish it up. Mist with a shot on target. Nice save. Ball still not clear, but no one's coming from Envy. All you. Trying to put it over. Jay Naps can't quite do it. Missed in his own goal. Drez saves it for the time being, but puts it right into Jay Naps area. And he's going to finish from inside the 18. He can't clear the ball. And another goal goes in. As G2 looking quite dominant in game number three, as they did in game number two. And another goal will pop out over to Atomic, who puts that in. It's Envy needed to press for something. And it is now 2-1, to one, G2, into overtime. Game number four. Atomic plays it slow, plays it around all you, and plays it into Chicago, and we'll find that nice pass play. And we are into game number five. It's G2 looking to punch their ticket to the grand finals. Big Naps up in the air. So much boost. Gets it down. Plays it over to a teammate and able to find that goal that's much needed. And another goal will tie it up for Envy, though, as we end overtime. Shot on target. Atomic saves it. All you up in the air. Stops it on the ceiling. Can't quite do anything else with it, though. And Chicago's there, but it's cut out by Miss. Ball still not clear as it bounces back into the middle. Atomic over one. That should be an open net, and it is. And they will be in the grand finals, and version one will take out team envy for nothing as sometimes it does happen when you go to the upper bracket final you do end up two you end up losing two best of sevens in a row and we have version one versus g2 in the grand finals version one gonna have to win two best of sevens as the tournament is set up and g2 already have a goal lead and right as i say that version one tie it up with only a minute remaining bar down and oh it's so close to being in oh it's not in beast mode is able to find it it will be and version one turn the game around right at the beginning of game number two back into the actions atomic will cherry pick that one ball sent flying towards version one's net is there to finish it up torment going underneath one oh by the second one can't quite find the angle but beast was there to make amends for it well only three seconds left Naps puts a shot on target. Chicago will challenge it. 
I can't quite beat beast mode there, but pressure stolen from G2 is 20 seconds left and dodges a dip bump and puts it in past torment. Nine seconds left. Version one trying to find something. Tonic will go by him. And that is it for game number two. We have a tie game. My series at this point. Should I go up in the air? Can find the flipper set with zero boost. Just is able to get to the ball. Find that flipper set. And right off the kickoff. Tom. Trying to leave for a teammate. Torment is there. We'll get over on two players. Couldn't hit the ball. Now it is into overtime we go as that goes high but saved off the line and beast mode will be going straight to and chicago can't get back in time because there's no more boost in beast mode but it'll take that win for version one as they take series advantage all played into the middle a nice demo comes through and chicago is able to finish it off for the other two defenders can clear the danger right off the kickoff of game number five as that was the only goal of game number four they get a goal straight away, does G2 in a nice angle, trying to find that demo comes through. Could open up a lot of space for Beast Mode, trying to pass it over. Oh, the pass wasn't the greatest, that was 50. Now it is back with G2, trying to find the demo, and is able to get it where enough space to where G2 can get a goal out of that play. And another ball pass into the middle. Shago trying to get it out of his own zone. Almost goes into his, I'm not by deflection beast mode plays into the middle a little high Chicago and atomic in front of him Tom's gonna have to try to come forward and can't quite do anything unfortunate but they are gonna go again in game number six as beast mode oh playing into his own goal almost to come on the back wall it's four nothing and J Naps will make it five nothing as we are into overtime game number six Chicago up in the air Beast Mode saves off the line. It's going to be JNAPS to play back into the middle, though. Beast Mode still on the line. Tomic up in the air. Tormek can only do what he only did and pushes it into the middle. And the ball still in danger. And that's going to be off the sidewall. And Chicago will finish it. G2 win the North American Regional number two, the 7 Eleven Slurpee Cup winners. And that will be it for this video. Make sure to tune in next week for our recap of EU Spring Regional number two.